What happens if we take Juggernaut with the new OP item Eternal Damnation? Add to it the best minion skill in the game. Plus poison, because it's a broken mechanic in 3.20. If you want to know what I ended up with, then this video is right for you. I will start my video with the key items that you will need if you want to make my build. United in Dream is a unique sword that is a must in this build. It gives our minions a 60% chance to poison enemies on hit and without it we can't get 100% chance to poison. It also gives a very useful aura of called Envy, which greatly increases the damage of our minions. Also, you will need the Covenant, because this item doubles our damage and is probably the best choice if we want to get a high DPS. A Manamu's Gaze, another unique item that is a must for us because it gives our minions an extra damage over time multiplier. In addition to that you will need these Abyss Jewels. Try to find them with Maximum life and minions have chance to poison enemy on hit. If your budget allows for it then try to buy a jewel with minions deal additional chaos damage which should help you increase your DPS considerably. Other than that thread of hope is very important because it allows us access to useful notable passives without spending a lot of skill points. And of course eternal damnation because that's what this build was all about. This new amulet gives us additional elemental damage reduction equal to half your chaos resistance. My chaos resistance is 70% and so we get 35% elemental damage reduction, which makes us very tanky. Those are all the key items you will need if you want to make this build, and if you want to know more about gear check out the description of this video, there is a link to my POB. But I will come back to the gear topic a little later on when I'll talk about the possible improvements you can make. And now I would like to talk about two important things, the DPS and the cost of this build. According to my POB, we have almost 15 million DPS. Maybe these numbers don't impress many of you, but it's very good considering the fact that we have a good defense. Since the defense is one of the features of this build, just a few words about it. We have 87,000 armor and that's not including flasks. I originally wanted to get over 100,000, but that turned out to be very difficult. And to get that many reservations, I would have had to increase the cost of my build, but I didn't want to do that. With this amount of armor, we have a very large molten shell, which increases our effective hit pool to 300,000. Pretty impressive number to me. Since we are a juggernaut, we have access to unbreakable and our armor is used to prevent some elemental damage, which further improves our survivability. As for the cost of this build, it is 30 to 35 divine orbs. And the most expensive item is a Manamu's Gaze, which costs 10 divine orbs. So at the beginning you can make a build without this unique jewel. You will lose 4 million DPS of course, but it will significantly decrease the cost of this build. Many of you are probably wondering, why Juggernaut? The answer is very simple, because Juggernaut, unbreakable, unstoppable, and untiring. I wanted to make a build with good defense, acceptable DPS, that could do any content in the game, including uber bosses and that cost 30 to 40 divine orbs. And as for me I think I was able to do it, because if you choose to build this build you won't have any problems with any content in the game. The only thing I would like to specify is that if you want to exactly farm uber bosses that this build is not for you, because you do not need defense. You want a 3 digit DPS to one shot any uber boss. But if you want to get a kind of universal build with good map clearing, very good defense and which will help you kill all uber bosses, then maybe this is the build you were looking for. But truthfully, I'm a little tired of the poison and probably you too, because the whole YouTube is full of builds that use poison. So initially, I wanted to make a build with elemental damage, but when I started to make this build, I saw that the poison variant has 3 to 4 times more damage. Unfortunately, in 3.20 poison mechanics are too strong and allow you to get a lot of damage with minimal budget so I had to go back to poison SRS. Besides Raging Spirit, we use two specters, Arena Master and Pale Seraphim. But in my POB, the damage is shown without considering the auras these specters provide, and with them our DPS will be even higher. But honestly, I noticed that they are pretty useless, and including them in our damage is not quite correct. 
They certainly give us a nice bonus to our DPS, but the extra damage we need is only against uber bosses. However, in a battle with them they will die very often, so most of the battle will be without these buffs. That's why I mostly ignore them and only use Golem to give us Feeding Frenzy, because Golem is very easy to summon again if he's killed. You can of course improve the survivability of your minions, but I don't see the point of doing this, because there are other higher priority upgrades. You can also use the Animate Guardian for extra defense and damage, but the gear for a good Animate Guardian will be expensive. Plus on very rare occasions he might die and I personally don't want to keep an eye on him. That's why I play without it and my current DPS and defense are fine for me. But if you like min max builds then you have to use it all. If I already mentioned min max builds, then let's talk about the upgrades you can do, because there are many options how you can improve our DPS and defense if you have the currency to do so. First of all you can buy corrupted eternal damnation with you can apply an additional curse. With this amulet we can save some skill points and add to the build large cluster with minion damage which increases our damage. Also invocation with eldritch battery will allow us to get extra skill points. As an alternative, you can also go for invocations with Iron Reflex or Mage Bane. If you have a look at my equipment, you will see that some of them have Spell Suppression, but unfortunately with this budget, I was not able to make a 100% Spell Suppression. That's why I don't consider it as a reliable defense, but rather as a nice little bonus. But in theory, you can get 100% Spell Suppression. As an example, instead of the Covenant, you can use Rare Body Armor with Spell Suppression, Life, and Armor. You will lose some of your damage for sure, but your defense will increase significantly. You can also use these passive nodes to get 100% Spell Suppression. Some of you might be surprised by the lack of Lore Weave, because it synergizes well with Eternal Damnation, but I'm not really a fan of it and I don't really like it. The Covenant or Rare Body Armor are much better. Lore Weave might be a good budget option though, if you want to save some money or if you can afford to buy it with good double corruption. Darkness Enthroned is the perfect belt for us, but unfortunately if you want to use it you'll need very expensive gear with lots of resistance. But if you have extra divine orbs for good rare items then this unique belt is the perfect addition. And lastly, let's talk about how to level this character. If it's not your first character and you have some twink gear, then you can go through the axe with Summon Raging Spirit because it will be available from level 4. The only thing you need is a Darkness Enthroned and two of these jewels. But first of all, that they don't have high level modifiers and you can use them from level 1. Personally, I finished the act this way and frankly it was fairly fast and I did not feel any problems. If this is your first character and you do not have access to Summon Raging Spirit at level 4, you can always use Bone Shatter. This is a great skill for getting through axe and fast leveling in maps. If you choose this way then until level 80 to 90 you use Bone Shatter, after that you make respect to Summon Raging Spirit. That's it for me and it's time to say goodbye to you. I hope that you liked my video and it was useful for you. Also do not forget to like or subscribe to my channel. Bye bye everyone and see you in my new videos.